A ton of improvement, put on a lot of body mass, but he's so tall, these kind of events just don't favor a guy his height. He's now moving on to 650 pounds. Successful there, Kaz. You're right, he is extremely tall, and look at the travel he has to do to get that weight up. He's so solid, though. He sure has done his homework. He's been training with a couple of world champions, the Gillingham brothers, and they've helped his deadlift a lot. Fifty pounds. This is the last keg. This will put it at eight hundred pounds. He is super intense. Going to that place where he believes he can make this lift. Well, belief would not get it done, but a very impressive performance by Dave Austin. Six reps, twenty-seven point five five seconds. That becomes the mark to beat. In the keg toss, Jimmy Marcoux of England put up a great time that was good enough for second place. But in a performance that my partner Bill Kazmaier says may have been the greatest feat of strength yet, Travis Ortmeier, the other American in the group, whose kegs may still be in orbit, claimed the victory in the six points that go with the win. In the truck pole, it once again was Travis Ortmeier stealing his show. The big Texan propelled the 50,000-pound pole truck over the line and got another victory. At the halfway point, it's Travis Ortmeier in the lead with 16 points. Dave Oslin is in second with 14. The 1998 champion Magnus Samuelson is third. Then it's Marku, Vizis, and Trimple. And we return once again to the Capitol Complex here in Charleston for more of the deadlift for group number five. Ravis Vizis of Latvia is currently in fifth place overall in the Cavs. If he has any chance of making the final, he needs to go on a run starting right here, right now. Ravis has always been a very solid deadlifter, Todd. So if you can't get it done here, it's not happening. In a group of this quality, you can't afford to back off on your efforts. Starting weight, 585 pounds. They'll now jump up to 620 pounds. Successful there. Remember, the mark to beat, 27.55. Six reps put up by Dave Austin. I'm not liking the strain in his face already. These should be easy reps for him. Ravis really struggling here at 720 pounds. I'm looking for the commitment. And you're not going to get it. He will check out with four repetitions in a time of 15.67 seconds. Jimmy Marcoux is Britain's strongest man, and now he wants to conquer the rest of the planet. He'll start with the deadlift when the Metric's World's Strongest Man continues. Well, Travis has done more than just compete thus far. He's won two events and is the group's overall leader. God, you got to really appreciate this guy's attitude. He may have a crazy look in his eyes, but he's all business. This is Travis Ortmeier, starting weight, 585 pounds. Kaz, what do you think of the form so far? Nice form, hips low, a lot of leg drive, and a super strong back. Mark DeBeat, put up by American Dave Austin, six reps in 27.55 seconds. He's unfamiliar with this apparatus. I give him a lot of credit. If you never felt it before, it's really tough to do. This is it, this is for 800 pounds and the lead. Unable to get the 800 pounds up, but a strong performance by Travis Ortmeier. He is the current leader, six reps, 26.20 seconds. Travis looked pretty comfortable all the way through the sixth rep, but on the final lift, if he just would have got it above his knees, I think he would have got it all the way to lockout. 800 pounds proved to be just too much. From England, welcome Jimmy So our Marcoux. final competitor in the deadlift will be Jimmy Marcoux of England. Now, group five, he is in fourth place in the overall standings, but can make up quite a bit of ground on the guys in front of him Are with the win here. Six points, remember, goes to the winner. Down. This is a classic powerlifter's body you're looking at. Down. He's got huge legs, tremendous hip power, and a really solid low and upper back. Successful at 685. Remember, he is Britain's reigning strongest man. He's just cruising. He's machine-like with these pulls. And he will go for 800. No one's done this yet in this group. Can Jimmy Marcoux be the first? No cheat, just nice powerlifting form. 
That's a surprise. His sixth rep was really strong. I thought he'd make this one. 40 seconds to go. 40 seconds to go. Well, he still has 40 seconds, Kazan. He's going to get one more shot. This is time to dig down. Believe you can do it. Just power it right up. Jimmy doesn't have that belief, but he does believe this. Jimmy Marku wins the deadlift. Six reps in a time of 23.97 seconds. Well, the precision, the technique from Jimmy Marku, the Englishman didn't have any serious difficulty on his way to the victory. He's now standing by with Bill Kazmaier. Jimmy, that was a fast six. You've taken the group. How do you feel about that one? Oh, I feel great. I knew I was going to do fast. It was my target was to do six fast and try for the seventh one, but... It just seems to be heavy, so it wasn't the day to lift it. There's going to be some pressing events coming up, and you're really good at that. How do you feel your chances are going to be? I'll hopefully get some good points there. And it's a different style I use to train, but I should do all right. Great job. Thank you. Three men completed six reps, but Jimmy Marku did it the fastest and earned the win. Travis Ortmeier was second. Third place went to Dave Oslin. Travis Vincis was fourth, triple fifth, and Samuelson sixth. After four of six events, Ortmeier remains the leader with 21 points. Oslin is second with 18. Jimmy Marku moves up to third. In fourth, it's Magnus Samuelson, then it's Vincis and triple. Remember, only the top two move on to the final.